Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome to virtual art class. It's nice to have you here. I hope you're having a great week and enjoying the different things in life. I have a project for you today which is perfect for Mother's Day. So if you have a mom or a grandmother that's in the room with you at this time, you might ask them to maybe go sit on the porch or go get a nice cup of tea or a drink of juice or something so that you can be um, have a secret, have a surprise for Mother's Day, okay? So what you are going to need is five pieces of paper. If you have only printer paper, that's fine because I actually did mine on printer paper. Um, if you have five different colors of paper, that's fine. I didn't, so I painted mine. So um, besides the five pieces of paper, if they're all white, you're gonna need some paints. Um, if you don't have paints, you can use whatever you have to make color on the paper. You will need a ruler, a pencil. You're gonna need some markers or some colored pencils and also, what else is over there? A glue stick or a stapler, either way. Okay, um, the first thing that you're gonna do is gather all this and then check and make sure that mom's out of the room and I'll meet you back in here in a minute after I switch my camera. See you soon. Okay, we're back. Let's get started. Um, like I said, if you have all white paper, you need to paint it first. So that would be step one is to paint each page a different color and then leave it outside in the sun to dry and bring it back. So I have pink, I have a green page, I've got purple, these are watercolor paints. I have um, yellow and blue. You might want to think about what your mom's favorite color is or what her favorite colors are while you're making this because it's going to be a card for her. So that would be a nice thing is to choose some of her favorite colors. Okay, so the very first step is going to be on the front cover, whatever color you want to be first. I need you to use your ruler and I've already done this ahead of time. You probably see these lines, but I'm just gonna show you. You're gonna line up your ruler, make a mark, line it up with the bottom of the page here, right down here. And um, if you line up the edge of the ruler too on the edge of your paper, you'll make sure your line is straight. Okay, so you're gonna do one line, two line, three line, four line. Okay, turn the page. The next one down, you're just gonna do one, two, three lines, okay? Turn the page, the next one, I bet you've already guessed, one, two lines. This is page four, one line. And page five, you don't have to do anything. Okay, um, if you need to pause the video to make those lines, you can go ahead and do that or just watch through and come back to it later. All right, now on each of these pieces of paper, I need you to cut on the uppermost line. So this one only has one line. So I'm just gonna cut off one. Okay, the next page up, this one has two lines. I want you to cut it on the topmost line. It's hard for you to see. There's a line here and here. You're gonna do the topmost line. So each of these pages, as you cut, you'll see you're cutting off a thicker and thicker section. Okay, so here's that. Can you see a pattern starting to happen? Next page, we had three lines on this one. One, two, three, you're gonna cut at the topmost line. All right. This last one, we had one, two, three, four lines cut at the topmost line. The reason why I had you draw four lines, three lines, two lines, one line, instead of just measuring and saying, okay, cut off six inches, is because I've noticed that everybody all the way up through high school, when I ask them to make a line straight across the page by measuring, people are always 
making it crooked. They have a really hard time with that. So I thought I'd go easy on you this time. Okay, so now what you should have is five pieces of paper that are five different heights, lengths, five different lengths. And they're all stacked up neatly here at the top. This is the flip book that you're gonna make for your mom or your grandmother. On the front page, on the, the, the top page, I'm calling it the front page, I just mean the shortest or the topmost, you are going to write something like for mom or happy Mother's Day or to mom, it's up to you. You can write it with a Sharpie. If you do though, I suggest you take it away from the others so that it doesn't sink through, the Sharpie doesn't sink through and mess up your other pages, okay? You can do colored pencil, whichever you like, okay? So I'm not gonna take all the time to write mine out, but I think I'll probably have a picture of it posted for you on um, the, the actual document for this assignment. Okay, so this first page has your dear mom or to mom or happy Mother's Day, okay? Then the next page down, let me put it back together for a second. The next page down, right here, I want you to write a picture or a photo, write the words a picture or the words a photo. The idea is that once we connect it all up here at the top, your mom will flip this and she'll see that you've either posted a, pasted a picture on, like if you find something at home that you can use and put a picture of you and your mom together, or if you don't have one, you can draw one there. So when it's like this, all she sees is a picture. She flips it up and she gets this nice surprise, okay? On the next one down, the purple one, you are going to write the words, what do I want you to write? Five, the number five things, five things. And underneath it, you're gonna number one, two, three, four, five, five things that you love about mom. I'm gonna have all this written out for you too, so don't worry. Okay, so it says five things. The next thing is five reasons. So on five things, you're telling us five things about mom. Mom is pretty, mom is a gardener, mom makes great cake. And five reasons is five reasons why I love mom. My mom helps me with my homework, my mom always plays with me, things like that, okay? So there's a difference. Five things that are about your mom could be what she looks like or what she likes. And then this one is five reasons why you love her. And on the bottom, you're going to write a letter. So when you open this up, you have a nice little letter that you've written to your mom. Dear mom, today I was remembering the time when we were, when I was little and you made me a fort in the backyard and put my sleeping bag in it and you know whatever whatever good memory you have or something that um, just a beautiful letter okay so that is your project when you're all done with all the pages you can the easiest thing I think would be I know I told you to have a glue stick but that was for gluing in your picture I think the easiest thing is to have Staples right up here. So you're going to take your stapler and go chick, chick, chick. You could do three you could do four and Have that so that when she gets it It's all together and she can just turn the pages and see all these wonderful things and all this paper that you've hand painted yourself Okay, I hope you have fun with that. Remember, please send me pictures if you do this um, and I hope you have a great day and I can't wait until we get to see each other again Thanks, bye-bye.